What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be comparing the Downy A5 to the Soundcore 2 and we're going to be comparing these today because they're almost the same price and there are a lot of differences. So we're going to be looking at everything about these speakers today. So before I start the video, if you guys are interested in either of these speakers, I'll have affiliate links down below that you guys can purchase these from and it'll help support my channel. So anyways, let's get into this video. Today I'll be comparing the Downey A5 to the Soundcore 2. I decided to compare these two speakers because they are very close to the same price. The Downey A5 will cost you about $55 whereas the Soundcore 2 will cost you only $40. So there is approximately a $15 gap and we'll be seeing if the extra $15 is worth it. So first let's talk about the big differences. First the Downey A5 has dual 12.5 watt drivers for a total of 25 watts of power. Meanwhile, the Soundcore 2 has dual 6 watt drivers for a total of 12 watts of power. The Downy also has two passive radiators located on the front and back, and they actually work really well. The Anchor Soundcore only has one passive radiator on the front, and to be honest, I can barely tell it's there while playing music. The overall sound quality is good on both, but the Downy A5 does have some distortion at max volume. But luckily for us, the max volume of the A5 is very, very loud. So just listening to music at the normal volumes actually sounds really good with good bass. And I would also say that it's comparable to the JBL Flip 3. So back to the Soundcore 2, the sound quality is really clear, but it lacks bass. I will have a sound test at the end of this video if you're interested in that as well. So now let's look at the battery capacity of these things. The Downey A5 has a 6,600 milliamp hour battery and that also acts as a portable charger. It has one USB on the back for charging things like your phone or tablet. The Soundcore 2 has a 5200 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty impressive considering that it is so much smaller than the Downy A5. The A5 has a battery lifespan of about 12 hours without charging other devices off of it, and the Soundcore 2 actually has a 24 hour battery lifespan so that definitely is one advantage of the Soundcore 2. Another advantage that the Soundcore 2 has over the A5 is its size and weight. It is definitely more portable and easy to store in a backpack or something like that, but the Downy A5 is not the most portable. It is also very heavy, but that is to be expected for having big drivers and a big battery. So back to some more specs, the Downy A5 is also NFC compatible, but I unfortunately don't have a phone that uses NFC, so I've never actually been able to use it. Both the A5 and the Soundcore 2 have a Bluetooth range of 66 feet, and they also both have audio inputs if you prefer not to use Bluetooth. One thing that I thought was a little odd was that the Downy did not use a micro USB to charge, but it used a DC cable of some sort instead. So do not lose the charging cable because you need a specific power adapter for the speaker. One nice thing about the Downy is that you can get this charging dock for it as well, which seems to be pretty helpful. Back to the Soundcore 2, it is powered by a micro USB, which is much nicer in my opinion. The Downy A5 has nice simple buttons on the top and even has back battery life indicators on the top as well. The Soundcore 2 also has some really nice big buttons as well, and I personally like the look of these buttons way more. Another advantage of the Soundcore 2 is that it is IPX5 water resistant, so it can be splashed or even rinsed off and it'll be just fine but the Downy is not water resistant at all. So overall, I love both these speakers, but I would prefer the Downy A5 just because it is great bass. The Soundcore 2 is a great speaker, but it definitely lacks on the low end. I would say that the Soundcore 2 looks better and is more practical and convenient, but when it comes to sound, it cannot compare to the A5. I'd recommend both of these speakers to anyone, but if you really like bass, go with the Downy A5. If you like portability more and don't care for bass, go for the Soundcore 2 and save $15. Standing on the edge of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly Just grab my head from him sin
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if you guys are interested in either of these speakers, make sure you go down to the description below and you guys can see the affiliate links there. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and a comment. If you guys are interested in tech content, I would really consider subscribing for weekly tech videos and occasionally a gaming video here and there. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Reality. It is touching the truth.